Hello and welcome to my channel all about decoupage. Hi, I'm Veronica and in today's video I'm gonna show you how I made this cute raven ornament. After watching this video, if you have any questions, just let me know and I'll be more than happy to answer them. So let's get started. For this project I used plastic medallion and I painted it twice with white paint, let it dry between each layer. I use this custom rice paper and I use this cute raven image. I cut out the image with water pen. Of course, you can use just small brush and water. I never cut up my image with scissors. Then I went ahead and tear up the image in few places, applied a little bit of decoupage glue onto the ornament itself and then I apply the image on the ornament and seal it with more decoupage glue. Make sure there is no excess of the glue because the glue will dry out white, not clear, if there is an excess of it. After drying, it was time to paint the ornament. So these are the paints I use. As you can see, I even go inside the rice paper itself for better blending. I played with paints on the bottom of the ornament. I just had fun and I was trying out the styles which I like best. Then with small brush, some paints and water, I apply dots on the ornament and after I let the whole thing dry. After drying, I applied glitter decoupage glue on the ornament. If you don't have glitter decoupage glue you can skip this step then it was time to seal our ornament i used pouring glaze i applied four to five layers on it let it dry between each layer then on the other side of the ornament i used air drying clay and some molds and some stamp then i roll out the clay and make sure it is pretty thin otherwise it would crack upon drying also made sure it fit my ornament then i went ahead and applied some stamp onto it as well making sure the image of the stamp is pretty visible so applying a little bit of pressure by the way, all materials I use will be listed in description box below. If I cannot find the same exact, I would be listing something similar to it. Then it was time to put the clay part on the ornament itself. So I glued it with express glue from Pentart and cut off any excess of the clay from the ornament.
I also use some air drying clay on the sides of the ornament. I used mold for this part and everything was glued with the same glue from Pentart. If you don't want to make your own ornaments, I do have an Etsy shop where you can check out mine. Uh, designs which I have available. Of course, I do love customs as well. The link to my shop will be in description box below as well. So after watching the video, go ahead and check it out too. Then I applied also some clay flowers on the ornament itself. I think these are roses. Then I press a little bit of clay and I applied a stamp saying on the clay itself and then I glued it on the ornament itself. I also glued some flowers on the top of the ornament as well. Then I let the whole thing dry because I never paint my clay part when it's still wet. After drying it was time to paint it. So first I use black paint all over the ornament, wiping off any excess of the paint. With cut up a uh, kitchen sponge, I am applying a little bit of beige paint, a little bit of purple paint on the clay part of the ornament. After drying, it was time to seal the clay part, so I am using matte varnish, of course you can use glossy ones as well, the varnish is water-based. This last step is fully optional, but I use some wax paste for the clay part for a little bit of shimmer and as you can see I am using gloves because this part is a little bit messy And here it is, all finished raven ornament. 
So let me know if you like this little bit of different kind of ornament. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Please do give me a thumbs up or a comment. Stay tuned for more. Until next time. Bye.